Hi guys, welcome back! Baby animals! They are super lovely, super cute, very cuddly, and people just seem to like to look at them. Little babies always try to mimic their parents, because they don't know anything about the world, so they look at their moms and dads and they try to do the same thing. And when they have babies of their own, they do the same thing, so it's like a repeating cycle that just never stops. Alright you guys, get ready for some ultimate loveliness, because today we're looking at some cute baby animals. Giraffes Did you guys know that giraffes give birth standing on their feet? It means that when a baby is born, it falls from a height of 6 feet. But don't you worry guys, they don't get hurt. By the way, newly born giraffes are pretty big, something like 6 feet tall. Already after about an hour a baby is born, they stand up on their feet and a few hours later they learn how to run. They don't have horns when they're born and they have a bunch of hair and gristles under it. And as they get older, they get beautiful looking horns that are called ossicones. Hippos Hippos need water more than anything. They're born in water and they weigh about 90 pounds at that point. And they're normally 40 inches long and about 20 inches wide. After the baby's born, his mother pushes it up from the water so it can breathe. It's pretty interesting that hippos are one of not so many mammals that can suck on their mother's tit underwater. They just seem to be able to close their nostrils and ear holes. They spend a lot of time on their mother's backs, where they feel safe and warm. Rhinos On average, newly born rhinos are a little bit bigger than hippos. Every 2.5 or 5 years a female rhino carries her baby for about 15 or 16 months. When babies are born, they're about 40 inches tall. Rhinos get on their feet pretty soon after they're born, and already 10 days after birth they can eat solid food. Although, sometimes they keep drinking their mother's milk for as long as 2 years. After they stop feeding on their mom's milk, their horns start to grow. So generally, rhinos take care of their babies for about 4 years before letting them go out in the wild. Pandas when pandas are born, they look very different from their grown-up parents. A newly born panda is tiny, it's blind, it's pink, and it doesn't have any fleas. They usually weigh about 3.5 ounces, while a fully grown panda weighs 350 pounds. When they're born, they're 7 inches tall. Their paws are so weak they can't hold their bulky bodies. About 7 days after birth, dark spots start to appear. They learn how to walk when they're roughly 3 months old, although it's pretty hard for them at first and they often fall. Their eyes get fully open about a month after they were born. Slowly but surely they start to look like pandas we all know and love. Kangaroo Baby kangaroos are completely devoid of fur. They are blind and they can't use their back limbs. They weigh about 1 ounce and their body length is 1 inch. They come out in a form of embryo. After they're born, they have to get to their mother's bag, which isn't an easy task at all, because they only use their forelegs and their moms can't really help them with that. Once they get up there, they then need to find a way to get to the tit, because it's a pretty deep bag they find themselves in. Here's another interesting fact. A female kangaroo produces two types of milk. The first is the kind they drink when they are very, very young. It helps them develop their immune system. Another kind of milk allows for rapid growth and mass gain. Elephants The way elephants carry their babies is different from those of other animals. Usually elephants are pregnant for about two years. A female elephant can only get pregnant second time after her body fully recovers from the first time. Sometimes this process lasts for about five years. On average, one female elephant makes about eight babies in her lifetime. When they feel like they're about to give birth, they go away from the herd, and they usually get accompanied by a few older, more wise female elephants. 
At the very moment of birth, the mother gets surrounded by others in order to be protected. Baby elephants are about 40 inches high, and they weigh about 200 pounds. Baby elephants fully depend on their mothers. They feed on their mother's milk for as long as three years on average. White bears. Female white bears are pregnant for about six to seven months, which is about 230 to 50 days. Usually from one to three babies are born at a time, but more often than not, two white bears are born. They're born deaf and blind, and they don't have any fleas. They weigh about 25 ounces. White bear milk is one of the fattest kinds, and it's very nutritious. Baby bears grow and develop very rapidly. They open their eyes about a month after they were born. That's when they start to weigh about 25 pounds. Their teeth start to come out, and that's when their moms begin to teach them how to act in cold and under heavy wind. A couple of months later, the whole family leaves the place and goes out on ice. Chameleons Chameleons are a very interesting kind of animal. They look very cool and resemble a kind of monster when they're born. They come from a soft kind of egg. Because chameleons don't sit on their eggs, they carry them inside. Because there are many predators around, and so kids need to be safe. Newly born chameleons are very small and slow. Their moms are not very caring though, which is why many younglings die very young. Kiwis Normally, kiwis weigh about 6 pounds, and they're 15 inches tall. This funny-looking bird lays an egg that is three times smaller than itself. Imagine a lady who weighs 200 pounds and her 50-pound toddler. Pretty crazy stuff, right? So why is it that their eggs are so big? There's one theory that suggests that kiwis used to be bigger. Some say that they used to be as big as ostrich birds. And so their eggs were big. But then, throughout the course of evolution, the birds started to get smaller, but their eggs remained the same size. Blue whales. Blue whales are massive, and their kids are massive. When they're born, they are as big as some of the biggest grown-up animals on the planet. The pregnancy period lasts for about a year. Newly born whales are normally 25 feet long and weigh up to 3 tons. They feed on their mother's milk and gain about 220 pounds of weight every day throughout their first year of life. Crocodiles First crocodiles appeared on Earth 250 million years ago. Usually, they lay from 20 to 100 eggs. It depends on the size of the female. Once they hatch, they immediately start to cry for their mama. And they look exactly like their parents. They're like their little copies. They're usually 12 inches long, and their heads are quite big, something like two-thirds of their bodies. They have sharp little teeth, big shiny eyes, clumsy little paws, and they look completely helpless. And they can't take care of themselves. And unfortunately, their survival rate is very low. Only one crocodile out of a hundred reaches puberty. Gorillas Baby gorillas weigh only five pounds when they're born. They are completely helpless. They can't even crawl. They are 100% dependent on their mothers who feed them, carry them around, protect them, and it goes like this until they turn three years of age. Camels. Baby camel weighs 80 pounds on average. They are normally 35 inches tall. Already two hours after they're born, they are ready to follow their mom. Their mothers feed them for about six months. It seems kind of strange, but those who are born with one hump are larger than those with two. It has often happened so that the fetus weighs way too much, and humans are forced to help camels give birth. Baby camels stay with their mothers up until the point when they finally reach puberty. Tigers Usually, tigers are born in March or April. They are born blind, helpless, and they weighed a little over three pounds. About three to four tigers gets born at a time, sometimes only one, but sometimes even four. They feed on their mother's milk for about half a year, but very soon they start to get used to eating raw meat. When the kids are too young, their mothers don't let the dad come anywhere near them. 
Their dads usually leave them until the kids reach puberty. That's about two years. What's interesting is that tigers learn to hunt early on in their life. They're able to spot and kill small prey already at nine months of age. Cheetahs. On average, cheetahs give birth from two to six kitties, who look simply adorable. It's very easy to distinguish cheetahs from other types of cats because of their long silvery mane. That mane is a natural mechanism that protects them from predators. It makes other predatory animals think that they are not cheetahs, but honey badgers, which is why they never attack them. At the age of about three months, they change their appearance and start to look more like the cheetahs we're all used to see. Giant turtles. These guys are not exactly giant when they're born. You can easily fit a newly born giant turtle in the palm of your hand. Although, when they grow up, their shell reaches a size of 50 inches, and their maximum weight gets to 270 ton. They usually lay about 4 to 5 eggs, which is something that only happens once in several years. Usually, they dig up a 20 inch deep pit, which they use as a nest. Giant turtles reach puberty when they turn 20. So how do you like these little cuties, you guys? Tell me what you think of them in the comments. And of course, don't forget to press the like button if you like this video. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.